good morning everyone and welcome to this video in this video we are going to solve this question uh, question b4 on uh, section b this is a uh, physics uh, physics uh, 2023 last year gce and Specifically, this is a science paper, paper one. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, this question. Uh, figure B4.1 shows a crane at a construction site raising a steel block of mass 100 kg through a vertical height of 16 meters in 20 seconds. So that's a queen. And uh, yeah, the first question says calculate the work done by the queen. Okay, so you know that how do we calculate the work done? Okay, so we know that uh, first of all, the formula for work is W, which stands for work, equals to force times distance. Now, remember, we don't have the force direct from the question, um, but we can simplify by saying the force equals to mass times acceleration. And now you have to think of uh, in terms of like uh, this crane is moving something from the ground all the way upward. That is vertical movement. So your A should be acceleration due to gravity, and that is uh, 10 newton per kg. And the mass has been given from the question, as uh, you can see that this is a block, uh, 100 kg is something that we are lifting. So this is a 100 kg, okay? Therefore, from this, uh, first of all, we can find now the force that is required to lift that. Okay, so this is going to be, our mass is 100 is 100 multiplied by our acceleration is 10. Okay, since uh, the units are just uh, um, the same, so I'm just gonna actually ignore the units. Uh, so this will just give us um, 100 times 10. We're just gonna to get 1,000 Newton. Okay, so those are the units for um, the force. So once we find the force now, we can put it here, okay? And we know also, we know that the distance is 16 meters. The distance is 16 meters, okay? So you can see that uh, that is uh, 16 meters there, okay? Uh, so therefore, work done will just be equal to the 1,000 uh, newton multiplied by 16. Now remember that work done, uh, the units of work done is uh, the joys. Okay, so we have 16,000 newtons. Okay, so that is, I mean, so um, uh, joys, so J. So uh, that is the work done, and that is the answer for question A1. Uh, moving on uh, to two, uh, so it's saying calculate power developed by the crane. Okay, so the power developed by the crane, we know that uh, first of all, what is the formula for power equals to work done over the time takes. So we know that the work done has been found to be uh, 16,000 joules and the time has been given as 20 seconds. Okay, so you can just review that uh, in the main statement there. Uh, 20 seconds is there as, yeah, so, so just a matter of putting the numbers now. So P, which is power, so our work done is 16 uh, joules 
divide by 20 seconds. Okay. So when you use your calculator now, you find that uh, what you get is uh, uh, this zero goes, that zero goes. So 2016, that is 8. So altogether gives you 800 uh, joules per second. Okay. 800 joules per second or just um, if you want, you can just say watts. Okay. So that's uh, the 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 power output. Okay, that how much power we are spending on that particular object uh, of the mass uh, 100 kg. And then uh, now uh, finally they are saying, given that the power input to the motor is 1000 watts, calculate the efficiency of the crane. So the efficiency against how much we are working on on that hundred uh, uh, kg. Yeah, so that is uh, going to be I think a B. So we have been told calculate the efficiency. So efficiency, okay, abbreviated as start is going to be power. The power you can say the power output. Okay, divide by the power, okay, input, then multiply by a hundred, a hundred percent. Okay, so that's hundred percent, guys. So therefore, uh, we know that the, the power output is something that we are we are actually, you know, uh, working on, and that is uh, what we found as 800 watts. And the power uh, input has been given as 1000 watts. Okay, so all you need is a power output divided by power input. So therefore, our efficiency is equal to um, 800, okay, divide by 1,000, multiply by 100%, okay. So get your calculator now. So I'm going to actually get my calculator. So this is going to be a, um, 800 divided by 1,000. You have 0 0.8 and then that number multiply by a hundred. Multiply by a hundred, we're just gonna actually get 80. Okay. So this will actually therefore give us efficiency is equal to 80 percent. Okay, so meaning uh this is very effective and uh uh, it's something that we can still work on. Okay, so that's the final answer to this question. Or rather, the, the, the last question, the answer is uh, 80%. So thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and also share. Thank you. It's bye-bye, and I'll see you in the next video.